does not have to be a new year, a new you. It just has to be a healthier you in the new year, you guys. Make sure you check down below in the description box where you can find the links to TLC products, including the IASOT, the Nutriverse, the Life Drops, the Resolution Drops. There's just so many things there to help you in burning fat and staying healthy. There's even the new immune tea, which I'm going to order. So I can't wait to like, you know, try that. And I hope they get the sea moss back. But I do love the sea moss from Men in Ocean. I'm sorry, it's supposed to be a commercial. Yes, okay? Get those TLC products from me. And do not forget that my biggest life change has been through Kiara Lachey, Team Lachey, If You Can Move.com. You guys get cute little outfits from Patient and Amari. You also check out Just Move Supplements because she is helping us with the energy. Okay, this is the energy supplement. Love it. Okay, just got my protein. Gonna get me some after I work out. Out. So yeah, y'all, down below in the description box, support, support, support. So you guys are always asking me where I get my glasses from. So I thought I would finally give y'all a real little ad, okay? Fermu, I can't see, bitch. Okay, I'm just playing. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. These are my new Fermu glasses here. Super, super cute, right? They are prescription because I'm like totally blind. And I got these matte ones that I think are really dope. And I felt like they would go good with the fact that I no longer have hair. You know what I'm saying? But either way, you guys can use my link and give me credit and get you some glasses from Fermu. Come on in, come on in, come on in, not come on in, not come. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know I'm weird. Whatever. Hey, everybody, what's up? It's your girl, Bondi Blue. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead. Hey, everybody, what's up? It's your girl, Bondi Blue. Okay, follow me on Instagram and let's get into the video. Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Bondi Blue and I am back for another Bell Collective review, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all. So Letitia and Marie meet up, child. Let me tell y'all something. Marie and her looks this episode, child, that pearl top, it looked like some type of Marvel character skin epidermis, bitch. It did not look like a shirt. Um, then she had the little flower and it's like, how you got the little flower? You barely got any hair. What is it holding on to? Hold it on? I didn't know y'all, but Marie's looks, you know, just left something to be desired and also left something to be laughed at. Okay. But they got to talk about how Letitia is in a bad space right now because Marie and her shenanigans have basically halted progress with Ferris Street, right? And of course, Marie is like, oh, girl, I'm so sorry. It will never happen again. I don't want to be a part of why you don't get progress on Ferris Street, girl. And then we found out, let me correct myself, because I thought the council member might want to hunch Tambra. But oh, no, that's her cousin. I'm sorry. Okay, let me go ahead and fix that. When I finally heard that in the confessional, I was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> Listen, it was familial love or some type of sexual love, but it was some type of love okay either way but because of that she's getting a second chance not to ruin this opportunity then they move the conversation over to the sister vention and maria is like oh these girls they just love to make me out to be the bad guy they love to you know put me down so that they can bring themselves up so they can lift themselves and i'm like people do like to do that but i don't know if that's what this is marie i'm not exactly sure because to be clear you showed up to your friend's event so that you could put latrice on blast like we have been saying since the beginning, there was a customer service line for you to call. Where is your receipt? You know what I'm saying? So let's not act like they don't have a reason to feel how they feel. Y'all just had a conversation about the reason why they feel the way they feel. Not saying that it was just Marie. But Marie, you did get into it with multiple people at different brunches. Two different brunches. So yeah. You want to take a little responsibility? Take it all the way through. Don't act like they pulling something out of their ass. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So Latrice is doing a photo shoot for her hair care line. And I was just like, the Claremont twins? The Muppet babies? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They they were they they were much more beautiful to me. This is my opinion. This is my video. Um, I don't follow them. I don't comment on their shit so they can live their life however they choose to. I'ma just go ahead and say that. And Latrice could have whoever she wants to have in her photo shoot. I'ma say that as well. 
But what I am going to say is there are so many beautiful people on social media. I don't understand why that's who she chose. I'm, I'm going to just say that. I'm going to just say that. Because when I see them, I think Muppet Babies. That's what instantly comes to my head. Muppet Babies. It's the, 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 the Tamar, Nene Leaks, you know, blind hair, face job. You know, it's just... Mm, nose job, you know, duck bill, platypus lips. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's not what, you know, go ahead, girl, do your thing. I'm not a hater. You know what I'm saying? But I'm also a realist. And I'm also, matter of fact, and I have eyes. I'm not the only one. Cliff pointed it out as well. <laughs> you were, I would have preferred for a more natural, beautiful woman than whatever they got going on here. That's what Cliff told her at the photo shoot. Child, the photo shoot was a headache. First of all, the photographer is in Atlanta, not in Mississippi, on his way there. The, Clam the Claremont twins weren't there till 10 o'clock. They didn't have any water on site. So how are we going to wash the girl's hair and prepare it with the hair care products? I'm like, who's running this shit show? Who is the person that got on the phone and made the phone calls and checked in with folks? Was it Melanie? Because somebody dropped the ball. Yes, it all came together at the end. Eventually, we were able to find clean water. I said, why y'all microwaving dirty water? In Mississippi, y'all need to do something. Y'all water should not look like that from the faucet. Like, it should be a little cloudy because there are minerals. It should not be a different color. I'ma just say that. And I live in, in Louisiana and I don't trust, I would never drink the water out the faucet here. People do that. I do not. I do not bottle me some water, bitch. Okay. I need to know somebody purified this and it's not just from out back. Cause you know, we have ball water advisories and it look like y'all do too. I'm not judging y'all. I'm just saying this is America. Y'all gonna stop acting like we ahead of somebody when we got dirty water coming out the faucet. Like, I want y'all to get this together, specifically in places where it seems as if there's a large population of lower to middle class black people. I do not appreciate this. Okay. But yes, eventually the twins get there. The photographer gets there. They have a short amount of time. But like I said, they get some, some, uh, some of that cheap, uh, fresh spring bottled water they sell down to the dollar store. And, and they did it. They did what they had to do. And you know what? I'm sure the pictures came out looking great. Um, the hair looked amazing. Um, let's go ahead and move on. Latrice was happy. It's all good. Letitia has invited a younger singer named Ari to her house for this romantical setup she got in mind for her and Glenn, y'all. So Glenn comes home and she didn't cooked all this food. I'ma let it go. But some things look watery that shouldn't look watery. I was like, are the yams supposed to be that liquidy? I'ma let it go. Um, the way she popped that cake out the, the, the tin and then laid it there and then it was all messed up. And so she poured the sprinkles of the graham cracker on top and was like, that's pretty. I was like, is he? <laughs> I said, oh, Lord, somebody help her. This looks a hot ass mess. But I don't think Glenn will mind, okay? Because she's dressed sexy. She's cooking him food, you know? But she's also trying to get him to not worry about this so-called contract where well, he wants to be involved in 51% of her business. I don't like that. I don't like that. You supporting someone as a husband does not entitle you to 51% of their business just because. Like, yeah, community property if we married, but Glenn and Letitia are not married, you guys. So I was just kind of like, no, 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 no. I don't care what you've been doing. Like, if I wouldn't have had a business, you still would have to take care of me. I don't understand why you think you deserve half of my business if we not married. If we decide to break up, I can't take half of your ends. Like, unless it's been some type of community property situation, then you can still fight that. So I just kind of feel like it just seems, you know hella suspect and kind of like he's a user you know what i'm saying but I, I do understand they've been together for a very long time i just don't understand why y'all would not be married and he would be asking for half that's just i don't know tad bit bitch made but i don't know glenn so i'm gonna go ahead and push on through the scene so this all sounded dumb to me from the beginning you gonna have this pretty young girl come into the into the bedroom with your man that you can't trust and have her come out the closet and what you think Glenn gonna think? Listen, <laughs> I know what I thought. What you mean you ain't nasty? Why you came? Don't you see the... 
candy on the frame. I was just like, this look like a threesome. So after the girl, you know, look, she said the, the key word a few times before the girl actually came out the class. But I said, bitch, what you was doing? What you was trying to think of something to sing? Because it wasn't a song. And then it felt like she was singing um, Emotions by Destiny's Child. You know, back in the day when... Uh, Beyonce had that real hard vibrato before she kind of smoothed it out. I love you. Look, I'm not about to do it because I'm not in that space or time. But I'm not warmed up. But I'm just going to say this. It definitely gave a Destiny's Child Beyonce vibe. It wasn't a song. It was words that L Letitia had said to her how she felt about Glenn beforehand. And so she just came out and sang that shit. And then like as she was kind of like sashaying in, right? You know, she was like, it's how I feel about you, baby. It's how I feel about you. And he just looking at the girl all wonder lusty and shit. And so then Letitia, you know, escorts the girl right now stands out the door. And Glenn was just standing there like, wait a minute. That's it? That's all? That's all we came here for? <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, Glenn, that's all we came here for. Okay? Now, that did not distract him because he still has questions about this contract. Later on, they go to therapy. And they switch roles in this kind of like dance choreography situation that the therapist had them do. And I thought it was cute. And I thought it really helped them see each other's perspective. It was, it was a good exercise, okay? And it made her understand that she may be all in her phone all the time. This man and came back. He been gone for two weeks. He needs some attention, okay? But it also made him realize that it seems as if you're looking for an issue and maybe you need to be trying to make her life easier instead of stressing her out and making her life harder when she's trying to escalate y'all's situation. You know what I'm saying? So they had some understanding. But when they sat down after they finished doing that, he brings out the contract. Well, guess what? She was ready. She had a contract. You want 51%? I want a ring. I want marriage. I want love forever and i just kind of feel like y'all out here you know killing paper killing trees and shit wasting resources and all of that going down to the kinko for whatever reason you know pulling up my contracts just so y'all could eventually get get engaged and get married and and you know go in half on everything together isn't that what you're supposed to do anyway like what the fuck y'all been doing this whole time y'all been together i'm so confused about them like, why is this the roundabout way? Usually when people want to go in half on business and love together, they just get engaged and they get married and they have a family and then they build businesses together, okay? Like, I don't know why y'all needed to come up with contracts and shit, like, <laughs> but it just kind of feels like Glenn wants what he wants out of the situation without having to give her what she wants, which is a ring. And I just kind of feel like this is stupid. I don't know whether this is for the show or what, but it just seems stupid. So Marie and Essie go to celebrate acquiring a 10,000 square foot building. And Marie is happy, but she's still feeling some type of way about Cedric. And I'm tired of her talking about Cedric because I just don't believe that her and Cedric were really in a relationship by the time we started taping them and cameras were around. But child, she got time to go ahead and smear her eyeliner for us. And Essie is there to be, you know, the best friend that's really in love with you. That's telling you, girl, you don't need him. You are on top of the world, top of the world. Yeah, yeah. You don't need this, okay? You can do better, okay? You deserve better than he can. I can love you. Hey, I can love you. I can love you better than he sitting here wondering why you don't love me the way that I love you and baby have no fear cause I would never ever hurt you and you know my love is real Marie I can that's what Essie is giving right now <laughs> yo that's what Essie was given in the moment, okay? And so after they have this talk later on, they go and pack all Cedric shit up in a box on some I was your lover and your sack rubs every working every day of the week. See what I mean? Whether it's upbeat or slow down, Mary J. Blige goes when you breaking up with your man. You know what I'm saying? They put all his stuff in a box. 
and drop it off at some type of construction site of his and i was just like good he ain't got no reason to come back to the house apparently he went to aruba without her and then on the day he was supposed to come back home never came back i said girl you and this man don't go together let it go let it go all right so then they have a couple's night. A part of Letitia and Glenn's therapy was that they go and be around other successful black couples. So that's what they do, right? And Letitia, you know, is there in her pretty little dress and everything, girl. They look cute, huh? And Glenn and Latrice and Cliff and Melanie and her man. Okay, so they all sit down. Letitia explains what they're all doing there and how you know, that's a part of her therapy and their therapy to be around black love. And they give us a little backstory because at the time I feel like we weren't really clear, but Glenn and Letitia grew up together, were in high school together, been together this whole time, you know, 10 toes down, that's my boo, all of that, okay? Then all of a sudden, Marie walks in with some man we ain't never seen before. And like, oh, Hopper, who this man? <laughs> Marie, who this man? Like, oh, okay. Listen, she went and found her somebody off the street. He was walking in like an extra. He was walking in like he ain't know nobody there, including her. So, y'all, Tambra. This episode, we got to see Tambra in that ashy colored lipstick yet again. And all of Bucky in her hair. Like, <laughs> bitch, please take some of the bundles out. I can't breathe. So she asked Gary with the T for help with her reel. She wants to have more of a, you know, new side to it, more of a serious side to it. And she wants his opinion. So he looks at this reel, right? And there are a few things. First of all, too many bundles. Second of all, what are you dressed for? Are you going to the club? Is this news? Like you need to check out what the wardrobe is for news people, for sure. Um, and her energy is like really up here. And, you know, she interviews like a radio host. Radio hosts are always in their voice when they're interviewing. And I just want to say shout out to Uptown Angela because that's why I've been listening to my whole life here in New Orleans. And Uptown Angela knows how to have her radio voice, which is also like perky and, you know, super duper, uh, you know, with addiction and everything like you hear when you hear Tambra talk. But Uptown Angela is from New Orleans and also lets her, you know, she'll let her accent bleed through. She knows how to, you know, bring it down a tad bit. Like, it's a fine line. It's a balance between going serious and being, you know, more music and just more fun stuff and less serious topics. It is a fine line in the way you have to cater your vocals when you're talking about these things. And Tamra doesn't seem to hear how she's always like this. And you need to be able to bring it down to here. Here We're here with blah, 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 blah. And today we're talking about da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? So it is just a matter of watching your inflection and your, you know, loudness. Okay. Bring down the decibels, bitch. Okay. Bring down the decibels. And she's like, do you think I should send this out, Gary? And Gary was like, no, you need to do it over again and take the notes that I've given you. <laughs> I was with every thing he said I was like yep that, that's all right that's all what I would have said yep Gary you are absolutely right and then we find out that she's number one for midday at the radio station and they're popping champagne oh my god oh my god and Letitia's there and it's like oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god. you know and it's kind of like please stop with the high-pitched noises okay there's a dog somewhere going through it with these high-pitched shrieks that y'all have going on right here okay it took me a minute to get that out but yes okay Either way, she talks about uh, Zaman and wanting to have a baby with him and feeling like it's destined that he never had any kids and he circled back around her. He's like, girl, that man made for you, girl. Make it happen with that man, girl. And she was like, but you know I have the fibroids. And I'm like, have the fucking surgery. Why are we still talking about this? Like, you know what you have to do. Why are we still talking about it? Like, that's supposed to stop you from being in a relationship with this man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, it's just something about Tambra and this relationship that seems like you're trying to force an issue here. And I don't know what's real, but it don't feel, you know, it doesn't feel genuine the way she brings up these things. You know what I'm saying? Is it just me? But anyway, you guys, that was the Bell Collective. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Tell your people about me. It's much appreciated, love. All right? I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one.